Hello there, welcome to this activity session. My name is Tikwin, and today we're going to kind of reinforce or build a program around the idea of variables. I know you've heard in the lecture early on about how variables are basically like this box where you add a name to it when you cast a type to it and you assign a value to it. So in the more practical sense, you're going to build a, a program here that allows a user to enter a weight on Mars and uh, no, weight on Earth, and we're going to convert it to a weight on Mars. So I think so the Perseverance rover um, landed on the Martian surface a couple of weeks back. And that really opened up the idea that um, humans could very well be um, setting foot on Mars in the very near future. So that's super exciting. So to kind of have like an idea of Mars, um, we're going to create this program that allows any user to enter something, um, some, some object or something that weighs on Earth and how much that's going to weigh on um, Mars. So we're not going to focus too much on the physics on like how that calculation is. But in general, um, something that weighs on Earth is about 37.8% lighter or 30% of the mass um, only, trans, um, only get translated to a uh, margin weight. So I'm going to create a Python file here, a uh, program uh, Python program file here on my code editor here. I'm going to call it Mars weight calculation. Calculation.py. Okay. So this is a Python file here. So as you can see here, my code editor pre-populates here the print statement. So I can just delete that. I don't need that. So the first thing I'm going to define here in this program is to define a constant var variable to define like that weight relation that 37.8% weight relation that I discussed earlier of how much an object weighs in relation to um, Earth and Mars. So I'm going to call this Mars I'm going to call it multiple, putting everything in uppercase uh, to signify it's, it's a constant var variable. I'm going to set this to 37.8%, 37.8%, which is in mathematical terms is 37.8, which is a 37 divided by 100. But to simplify, not have that calculation, to have a reference point, let's just convert that um, to decimal. So that's 0 0.378, okay? So before we create that program to prompt the user here, what I'm gonna do is just to do a simple calculation on like how this is gonna work out. So for example, I'm gonna have this variable called result, okay? I'm gonna set result to mass multiple, multiply by a value. So this value could be, let's take for example, this phone here. This phone here weighs about a hundred, like we're not talking about units here, this weighs about a hundred 100 grams. But for this example here, we're not gonna go into the, the physics side of things. We're just gonna calculate that. Um, we're gonna set that as like, we're gonna assume that this is the unit that we want to, um, that we're accepting for this calculation. So I have that here. So it's basically multiplying this unit and setting it to multiplying with the mass multiple. So I'm going to print that out. I'm going to print this variable because it's basically, we're calculating this and we're setting it back to the variable result and we're printing it out. So I'm going to click on play button here that basically runs the program. So as you can see, 100 multipliers by 0 0.378 is 37.8, which is correct. So what I'm going to do right now is just to add some prompts there so the user can um, um, run the program more dynamically. So I'm going to put function here, main, uh, prompt that here. I'm going to set a colon, and we're going to start on with an input. So I'm going to put this a variable called user underscore input as a variable name. I'm going to assign that to the input. I'm going to prompt the user saying like, please enter a weight on earth. This basically allows the user to type in something. And based on that input there, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm gonna copy this and paste it here. I'm gonna delete this here, put it, let's clean it up. So opposed to putting a hundred there, I'm gonna add whatever the user input here. Input here. So this basically means that we're gonna replace that hundred, the static barrel and let the user and input whatever value they want to have. So I'm just going to cut this bit value here. I'm going to print it out. 
And lastly, here before we run the program, we want to actually call the method that we create here, call main. We're going to run the program. Let's enter 100. And we can see here, oh, oh, we have a type error here. So can't multiply sequence by non ints of type float. So if we remember um, the input, the input operator here, what this method does is that it parses um, a user input and sets it to a string. But what this error is um, signifying here, you can see it says in on line nine here and on line five here, you know, main, this is not a good, this is where the error is coming from. So what's happening is that this Mars multiple is of a type float. As you can recall back a float versus an integer, what it means that integer does not have, is a whole number, it does not have decimal points and float has a decimal point. So that's the general idea behind that. So what's happening here is that um, we're trying to multiply this float value, which is 0 0.378 by a string. So take, for example, if um, assuming that we're not typing in 100, assuming that we're typing in, it's equivalent to doing this. So it's equivalent to typing like Apple here and multiplying by 0 0.378. So if you, if you, if the user types in, if this is um, Apple, multiply by 0 0.378, that's like, does it make sense? Does it make sense, right? So what we're gonna do right now is to, in order to prevent that from happening, we're gonna create a second variable here. We're gonna call it user input um, converted, converted float, okay? So we're gonna set that to user input. You know, we want the user input, but we wanna cast the type. So we wanna cast the type to a string. So if you remember from the lecture, when you want to cast a type, you just add a type in front of it and add some parentheses and put in the value that you want to cast on and we'll go, we'll go on to that. So you can see this program here, let's try running it again. Since we've cast this, uh, we don't want to string, okay, sorry. We want to cast it to a float. My correction there. So I caught myself before running the actual program there. So I'm going to click on play again. I'm going to run program. Let's type in a hundred and you can see Oh, we can't multiply sequence by non end of type float. Oh, why is that? Because as you remember here, we have not, um, we're still referencing this string here. So what we need to do in order to fix this is to actually move it onto here. So we change the variable because we, what, what was happening when this um, error was happening is that we were still referencing this string variable here. We're not referencing this. So that's why um, the error came up. So I'm gonna run the program again. Run that, let's take a hundred, boom. We have 37.8 here. So that's basically um, the general idea of how variables and how casting works. Like, as you can see, I've, I've, I ran through some errors here about how, a, how the type casting happens here. So when I was trying to um, multiply this with a string, basically a string with an actual like a float, it's not gonna work. It's in terms of if we do it in like by hand, we can't multiply that if it's a string and an actual float here. So hopefully you got some um, idea or a deeper understanding of any variables. If you do have any questions, feel free to um, leave them down in the chat and we can discuss that further. And thanks for watching this activity here.